A spectacular full moon is fast approaching with plans to grace the night sky Sunday night into Monday morning. It marks not only a super moon, but also a blood moon thanks to a lunar eclipse. If the weather's clear, millions of sky watchers in the Americas, Europe and Africa will be able to view the total lunar eclipse Sunday night into Monday morning. That includes those of us here in northeast Florida and southeast Georgia. Here to talk about that and the ongoing effort to return humans to the moon, NASA expert Michelle Thaler. Hey, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hey, good morning. Great to be here. And yes, there's a wonderful natural phenomena coming up this weekend, a total lunar eclipse. And this is something that you don't need any sort of special uh, eye eyeglasses or instruments to see. Just go outside and look at the moon and we're in for a great show. Can you explain what's going to give it that reddish blood moon glow? Well, absolutely. So you, usually when you look up in the sky and you see the bright moon, uh, it's bright because sunlight is bouncing off it. But what's going to happen is the moon is going to pass into the shadow of the Earth. So the Earth will block out the sunlight, and the only light reaching the moon is light that is actually bending through the atmosphere of the Earth. And just because, just like sunrises and sunsets are red, it's the same reason. That as this light goes through the atmosphere of the Earth, blue light is scattered away more easily. The red and orange light gets straight on through and up to the moon. So we're basically seeing all the sunrises and sunsets around the world focusing their light up on the moon. So it's not just a blood moon, it's also a super moon and a flower moon. <laughs> That's right, yes. So the, the, uh, the, the flower moon is the, uh, the first full moon in May, and the super moon means it's a little bit closer to the Earth than normal, so it appears a little bit bigger in the sky. So you got all three, you're absolutely right. So I think that the timeline I've got up here on, uh, on the uh, desk with me is actually for the West Coast. And it says that the greatest eclipse is at 12:11 when you'd actually see the blood moon. But what are the best viewing times here on the East Coast and here in, in Florida? Well, actually, I, I believe that the 12:11 being the, the middle of the eclipse is the East Coast time. At least that's the time that I'm planning to get up to see this. So here are some of the times. Uh, the, the partial eclipse will start a little bit after 10 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, the height of the eclipse will be right around midnight, 12:11. That's when the moon will look this most rosy red. And then it'll actually continue until about 2 o'clock in the morning. And, and as you said, uh, the lunar eclipse in this case is viewable through much of the world. Uh, North America and South America will be able to see pretty much all the eclipse. Uh, people all the way from New Zealand to Eastern Europe will at least see, see the partial. So, so it's a wonderfully positioned eclipse for lots of people to see. And I think that our, our sky conditions are actually going to be pretty good, so that's phenomenal. Now, efforts to return humans to the moon continue. NASA's Mega Moon rocket gets another pre-launch test next month, and this test is crucial. Well, absolutely. So we're actually testing the uh, the SLS, the uh, the Space Launch Systems, the rocket that will take humans back to the moon. And uh, there's a lot of uh, steps in between that right now that we're working on as well. So um, in, the, in the next year or two, we're going to be launching a rover called the, the Viper rover, which will be looking for resources on the moon for the astronauts to use uh, where, where water ice might be underneath the moon. And then we have this really exciting collaboration with the commercial space industry, the, uh, the commercial lunar payload services. There are about a dozen different commercial companies that have been chosen. They'll be delivering about 40 different instruments to the moon, uh, science instruments, things that will pave the way for humans to be there. So things are really going to start to ramp up on the moon in the next year or two. Right, and hopefully the first woman and person of color on the moon by 2025 if things remain on target. Michelle, thank you so much. Thank you very much for having me. Have a great day.